Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. Now, we live in a digital world where all things pen and paper gets lost and forgotten for what it is. But who would have thought that old, well, age-old scientific drawings could be reused to create the most spectacular, soft furnishing stationery and prints? Now, this morning, we are joined by Lindsay and Diane, who took their nostalgia of art and paper age, and they brought it to life with vibrant prints and illustrations. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know what? I'm loving what I'm seeing in oh. front of me. And you know, you're both from Arc Paper Studio. Tell me, where did this concept to create this come about? Um, basically, it came about by chance. It was a very slow evolution. Um, I started going to the dump and seeing all the books that were being thrown away. Mm. And I, it actually made me really sad to think that all that work and effort was never going to be seen again if um, we, we live in a society where we just throw. So basically, I started doing some research and started finding old books and looking through them and then thinking, well, actually, we could actually use these Im illustrations to create new designs. And then it kind of grew from there. And then what happened after that is I thought, well, actually, that's not that cool because it's not my art. Okay. So I thought, well, how could we actually make it right? So our website, we are actually going to be crediting and you can find out the history behind each and every single image that we use. So who the artist was, what year it came from, and we will take you straight back to that book. So when you go to the website, you can click on this lion and it will take you back to this book. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. But I'm, I'm looking at these pieces in front of me. Do you mind taking me through what the process is to end up with a beautiful product like I'm seeing in front of myself? Yeah, it does take a lot of time. Basically, the, the, the biggest amount of time is spent sourcing the imagery. Okay. Once I've gone through, I use a lot of um, archive, archived um, imagery. Mm -hmm. So I search libraries all over the world. Um, there's a worldwide movement now to create a digital platform for every single book. So libraries, museums, galleries, they've all jumped on board and they want people to use and share the, the, the images from the past, not only images, music, and all sorts of media as well. Oh, well, you know what? I absolutely love this. And I feel like we live in an age where, you know, Everything stays digital. We don't even print our photographs anymore yes, like we yes. used to back in the day. But you guys are also involved with Waves for Change. What is your involvement? Uh, it's a brand new collaboration. It's, with a, um, it's for children. Basically, we give books to children to, um, to read and then for them to, to then pass it on to somebody else to pay it forward so that they have the books they can give and receive and teaching them how to do that. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Some of my favorite childhood story books were still the ones, and it's beautiful when the, the date's written in, the, in yeah. the beginning of the book. I need to ask you, how far back does the art date to? Okay, so I do have a few rules that I work by. I would never use anything that's before 1900, so I'm working with imagery from 1600 <gasps> through to 1900, and that's where I draw the line. Okay. And then, um, yeah, some of the books are from like 1649 or, you know, the, this particular brilliant. book is yeah. like my absolute one. treasure. Yeah, I love this book. Um, it's from 1886. Sure. Yeah, 1886. This was actually the internet for families in the 1800s, so they had never seen these animals before. Oh, so, absolutely incredible. So that's kind of their point of reference. Okay, well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us and to showcase your beautiful work. And, you know, they say an ARC is a place of refuge and salvation, and that is exactly what ARC Paper Studios are known for, a design platform that saves the paper of the past, celebrates their markers, and brings art into the home and into the imagination. Now, you can catch them and many other handmade South African crafts at the Kamerful Geskenke happening at the Anura Wine Farm this weekend and aspire to inspire and always support local South African craft and design.